Ja, und damit willkommen zurück zu einer zweiten Episode von Not for Broadcast. Äh, wir haben Tag 8 und mir ist da ein kleiner, äh, kleiner Easter Egg aufgefallen in den Abspann, was da gerade rechts läuft. Da hat man ja hier den Namen und äh, da steht A Waterballon with a Face drawn on it. <lacht> ah, Mann. Okay, wir gehen rein. Das Telefon klingelt. Oh, vor der Party. Ja, aber gerade machen. Alles klar. Alles an. Okay, so ein, so ein wir spielen. Ist das Spielzeug sicher? Ist Kuschelflausch, Advanced Tatmenschen. Mm, Alan James. Machen wir das mal als erstes. Tatmenschen. von der Regierung. Und... Ja, machen wir das da mal. Äh, werden wir das mal erst lassen. Okay. Was? Ja, okay. Also. Okay. So ein fauler Bastard macht einfach Party und wir müssen arbeiten. Okay, bin ich mal gespannt mit den Bildern, aber es ist die Frage, wie wird man das dann aus? Max, ich versuch nicht. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Dawson. Our main headlines tonight. Destination unknown. At the end of Advance's first full week in office, we ask exactly who's leading this charge. Tonight, I'll be discussing what the new future might hold with the leading Lincoln. economist and radical free thinker. With the country's wealth creators in a state of panic and unfavorable rumblings already heard from overseas, I'll be asking my guests whether Advance can deliver on even a fraction of their manifesto promises. Out with the old. Remington Swift have appointed Sophia Remington as their new CEO. The following photo, taken from our archive, gives us a sense of this influential young firebrand who, at the time, ich gehe mal auf B jetzt. Mal schauen, was er dazu sagt. CEO in history. Sophia Remington's appointment is a risk for the giant mega corporation. Sophia, as our regular viewers will be aware, okay. has always been a wild Auch der Text ist dann anders, weil beim angezeigt habe ich nämlich da A gewählt. In her first press conference this afternoon, Sophia announced a children's toy named Mr. Snugglehugs. Sophia promises it'll be all the rage this Christmas, but concerns have been raised about the product's safety. Making a splash. Intrepid scientist Dr. David Wong and marine biologist Ingrid Swarsborg and Horgensport have today set off to explore Dante's taint. The recently discovered cave system was previously thought unreachable, but thanks mm, to the da machen. of flawed technology, The pair hope to successfully reach the imposing central cavern and the undiscovered plant species it contains. This is, of course, only the latest in a series of successful expeditions for this unlikely pairing. In a joint <laughs> statement about the dangers their team might face, the pair stated... Kann ich das eigentlich we unten noch austauschen? Challenges together, like we always have. Ich kann. Playing the field, rumors abound as sporting legend Johnny Hamsleeves is snapped leaving Bush, one of the capital's hottest clubs. The footballer was caught while out celebrating being named Sports Personality of the Year last week, as reported Mach by the Star Program. Johnny is seen here with socialite and performance artist Tiffany Lamour, 
whose recent show snatched inside inside Was for sich drag it up. Oh shit. Because <laughs> the romance will look up for these two budding anuses. Oh yeah. Oh, grievous bodily jar. With advance promising a radical new position on crime, how afraid should we actually be? I'll be going live around the country to talk with people who've seen the criminal. Ja, ich nehme dabei die drei. Every perspective. With more and more powers passing to the police and less and less oversight. Are we using an advanced shaped sledgehammer to crack a nut? All that, a mega move for the group of young actors already experiencing the positive side of the new assets and Oh, okay, jetzt kommt dann wieder dieser Übergang da unten. Talking and performing later. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, sie spielen dann mit der Kamera wieder rum. Und dann wieder auf die Eins, oder? Ach nee. Es hat er hier Gäste. Jetzt habe ich ganz vergessen, dass er jetzt da mit, mit den Gästen mit drin ist. In the wake of the government's swift enactment of the Assets and Wealth Act, we're talking about advances first week in office and what the new future holds. Joining me at Katie Brightman, a leading economist, and Alan James, author of Alan James is Right, The Free Man's Guide to Waking Up. Alan, the government certainly haven't dragged their heels on delivering some of the legislation they promised. But what does the Wealth Act mean for us? Nothing, Jeremy. We're still vassal slaves. We're just in prettier cages. A confident dismissal there. Katie Brightman, do you agree? I'm afraid I don't, no. I think that Vance have realized that the current economic system of unlimited, unending growth is untenable, so they're changing things up. There I agree with you. They're moving to the next steps in the grand plan. Okay. Grand plan, Alan. It's all in my book. Alan James is right. <laughs> We're to become the great herd. Ignorant, sterile, and short-lived. That's what they want. Or perhaps Advance have just realized that if we carry on the way we are, we will destroy ourselves and this planet in a mad orgy of consumption, if you'll excuse the colorful metaphor. <laughs> yes, orgy is the right word. Only it'll be the overlords having an orgy on our poor broken backs. It's all in my book. Alan James is shamelessly self-promoting. Katie, yeah. how do you think the rest of the world will respond to this new approach? I think they're watching carefully. Advance are the most disruptive threat that the world powers have faced since the last great war. Yes, Katie's right. War is inevitable. Thank you, but that isn't And what this I... will not be a war like we've ever seen before. We're talking millions of deaths. We're talking high-tech weapons that can level entire cities. We're talking... Out of the wrong orifices? Mock me all you like, Jeremy. But when they murder your parents and they poison your food and they take you away to their camps for hypno-brainwashing, we'll be laughing then. That might be a great way to sell books, Alan, but you know full well that isn't going to happen in a democracy. Democracy is dead. Yes, advance are radical, and change is always frightening, but the truth is that the Wealth and Assets Act has made more than 90% of the population wealthier and is on target to produce a permanent end to poverty. Bollocks! But what this young lady doesn't understand, Jeremy, oh, that this these are the same people. That maybe they've rebranded, but it's all a little circus act to keep us from seeing the tyrant behind the curtain. That's where you're wrong, Alan. For a start, they've mobilized the youth vote like we've never seen before. You say mobilize, I call it grooming. The grooming of an entire generation to walk happily into eternal bondage. They're like psychic <laughs> pedophiles. That's based on the facts. Katie, what are your predictions? The Assets and Wealth Act is only the first step. Advance now have a historic budgetary surplus, and as well as properly funding our public services, they're already un they're already funneling unprecedented amounts into scientific research and the arts. Or, as I call them in my book, Franken Science and Opie Arts. Er hat echt ein Issue. Can we get back to the issue at hand, please, Alan? This is the issue. It's all coming from the water, the chemicals. They're pumping it full of belief juice. Glaubenssaft, ja genau. These changes not only for their sustainable. If Advance lose their power after spending half of our GDP on dismantling infrastructure, that could be catastrophic. The catastrophe is that they're succeeding. They've got us sat here talking about their puppet show. All right, we're running out of time. Quickly, Alan. Um, what does the future look like to you? A bleak space where we've all been figuratively sodomized into submission. Oh, of course. Katie? We might be on the eve of a brave new world. God knows we need some change, but we need to be cautious. Let's walk forwards with our eyes open. Two very different visions of the future there. Alan James, Katie Brightman, thank you for joining me. Und jetzt Werbung, oder? When we come back, I'll be investigating law and order, 
before Meghan meets some beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act. That's all coming up tonight on the National Nightly News. One minute back. Oh my God, what's for you know, house? I think they might do some good. I hope so too, Jeremy. How much are you being paid by them then? Oh, shut the fuck up, Alan. I've never heard so much shit in my life. <laughs> Well, we'll see who's full of shit, won't we? Alan, I can explain it to you, but unfortunately, I can't understand it for you. <laughs> oh, that's a gosh, what's the best? Ah, yeah, should be there. Alter, ich glaube, die Werbung müssen wir uns dann später im Archiv nochmal anschauen. Okay, gehen wir wieder hier rein. Welcome back. In our second segment, we're going to be taking a deep dive into the state of law and order in our country. Advance have already tasked what they are calling a solutions team to move this serious social problem to the top of the list. Tonight, we go behind the headlines to meet the people who live with the criminal justice system every day of their lives. First up, we have Gregory Judge. A lawyer who sees the problems close up on the front line. Can you hear me, Gregory? Yes, I've got you, Jeremy. Thanks for having Ist me. Ist ja cool, ne Fernschaltung. Like line of the hard face of the cold hand of justice. Uh, well, as you can imagine, Jeremy, we are massively understaffed in this country. Uh, we're working every hour we can just to try and cope with the caseloads on our desks. Which must affect the quality of support you can offer. Well, we can barely keep up with the money, <laughs> Jeremy. Uh, there just simply isn't enough being done at a systemic level uh, to relieve the problem. Greg. We need more support from ministers. We, uh, Alan, I'm, what are you doing? Uh, we need change mm -hmm. at a structural level, I'm Jeremy. leaving, Greg. Oh. Not a good time, darling. It never is, is it? No. My mother's. Uh, just hang on. The, the, no, the, the problem isn't a local one, Jeremy. It's nationwide. J just give me five minutes. I'm talking to Jeremy. Alter, auf dem... Oh, have you mentioned your affairs? No. <laughs> no uh, the affairs of the Justice Department that Wie we geil. should be concerned about... Hello, Mr. Donaldson. Hello, Mrs. Judge. We need... Uh, we need legislation to relieve the pressure on our public service. Sorry servants. to interrupt the news, Mr. Mm. Donaldson. Can I have a moment to tell my husband I'm leaving him? Yes, I uh, totally understand. Quite the picture of a burdened legal sector there. Gregory Judge, thank you for joining us. Alter, wie krass ist das denn? Bob Peel, a man with a very different perspective Boah, das müssen wir uns dann Do you think there's a problem with the system, Bob? I'm sure we all do, Jeremy. I'm sure we all long for a return to the days when you could safely walk the streets of your community at night, looking in through windows and generally enjoying your neighbours without the risk of being terrorised by some thug with a knife. Uh, or kosh. So you feel the streets simply aren't safe anymore? Where have we gone wrong, Bob? Well, that's not a simple question, Jeremy, but I think it all comes down to moral decay. We've diluted our culture and lost touch with what it means to be a citizen of this once great country. Also, as the vicar noted in Sunday's sermon, we probably shouldn't have banned hanging. And Was? Bist du wahnsinnig? Okay. Foreigners, gays and gypsies mainly. It's all in the Bible. Look, Leviticus clearly states that... Was oh, zum... Bugger, hang on a moment. No. <laughs> Delia? Delia, could you give me a little help, please, dear? Alter, was ist denn hier falsch? Jesus didn't like immigrants much, did he? And just to be clear, you think it's the immigrants who are responsible for the moral oh, yes. decay? Absolutely, Jeremy. Uh, back in your box, Clive. Back in your box. Delia, I really could use a little... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, darling, I was staying the badgers. Yes, yes, I'm talking to Jeremy Donaldson. Clive, could you put him back oh, in the box? Oh, Clive, you know it's Wednesday. Can't you go back in your gift space? Who's responsible for using to make a change, Bob? Well, <laughs> it's not the responsibility of the decent, good, white people... Darling, where's the padlock? Oh, hold on just a moment. <laughs> Clive, I am not having this again. No, I'll be full drill. As I was saying, Jeremy, I forgot if this had some well, problem with the YouTube kid. No one else. Look, everyone has some story, but we don't all end up as barbarians, do we? Look, when our daughter Alice comes home with an A minus, does she go on a killing spree? No, she takes three of her pills and hides under the stairs like a normal child. Thank you, Bob. Bob Peel there. 
really locking down the police's position on morality points. <laughs> and finally tonight, hopefully... Under okay, it's, it's, it's the next time I'm in a zone cars. Tony Dawson has recently been released from prison after serving oh, shit. three years for aggravated assault, burglary, and menacing a swap. He's agreed to talk to us today, which is also, I believe, his birthday. Many happy returns, Tony. Cheers, Jez. Call me Titwank, Tony. Everybody else does. No, I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> Can you tell us what it's like in prison, Tony? Titwank, Tony. Hey! Prison's a mixed bag. Structure's quite nice, but... It's a constant battle against institutionalization, as you can imagine. And obviously, titwanks are quite hard to come by. I'm picking up that you're not alone there, Tony. Titwank, Tony. <laughs> yeah, sorry, my friends are throwing me a surprise party. Good bunch of lads. Okay, well, we're trying that you get back to that party as soon as possible. First, let me ask you this. Do you feel that your time spent in prison helped to rehabilitate you in any way, Tony? Titwank, Tony. <laughs> I don't think it's as easy as that, Jez. It's open! Yeah, I think asking that is an oversimplification. It sounds like it's getting quite busy there, Tony, but uh, let's try and soldier on. Since leaving custody, have you been able to find a new job? Yeah, all the boys are here. Big Chris. Oi, oi! Little Chris. <laughs> and Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. This one's, yeah? Yep. One sec, love. Shit, when Tony's on the news. Rehabilitation's difficult with the current system, Jez. Just not set up for it, you know? It's inherently unjust. So, do you feel tempted to... I'm sorry, who's this guy? You are joking. Chrissy Free Bollocks has only got Mr. Fancy, oh. Not now, fellas, I'm on the news. It seems... <laughs> it seems like we've caught you at a bad time. Oh my god, I'm so going to be on the train with you. Yes, we uh, seem to be losing the signal no here, Tony. Fucking way, let's believe that. Well, we're just trying to get that signal back. I think we... <laughs> yes, Tony? Tony, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> We seem to have lost our train of thought there a little. Hopefully you, the viewer at home, have managed to glean a broader understanding of the serious and complex issues around law and order. After the break, Megan will be live with some plucky young thespians. Don't go away. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back, everybody. Wow. What's that answer to say? I will listen to it. Oh, no, you again. Right now, in this next section, there's a bit of music. If you edit in time with the music, you can see the result on the vision mixer, and the public will love that. Don't worry if you don't, though. You won't get punished for it or nothing. Just try and stay in the groove. Also, one last tip. When the music starts, turn down the broadcast volume. Right, enjoy the music bit. God, I love music. God, I'm so pissed. I think I might go and throw up in a bit. <laughs> Oh mein Gott, ich weiß, konnte ich nicht was sagen. Aber okay, ja, es macht natürlich Sinn, da Überblendungen zu machen, wenn die im Rhythmus sind. Okay, das will ich nicht anhören. Welcome's Black, I'm Megan Wolf, and on tonight's Culture Spot, I'll be chatting with one of the first beneficiaries of the Assets and Wealth Act, a team of inspiring young people from Scritchford Sixth Form College, who today received a grant from Advance to take their play, Hey, Friendship, on a tour of local secondary schools. Welcome to you all. Well, let's start with you two, Harriet and Charlotte Winstanley-Hamilton. Girls, you must be thrilled. We are, Megan. We're overwhelmed, to be honest. <laughs> and I believe you two are sisters, is that right? Yes, Charlotte's my oldest. I'm the older, more popular one. <laughs> Okay, ego alarm. Harriet and Trey were really the ones who came up with the whole idea. Yeah. So, Harry and I were shooting the breeze in the cafeteria and I said, hey, let's actually do something. So I went to look for a drama teacher. Uh, but she'd been laid off due to budget cuts. Fortunately, I directed a pantomime when I was at university, so, so I knew the ropes as it were. Oh, right, yes, but you're the maths teacher, aren't you? Uh, yes, that's me, Jeff Algebra. Maths teacher. Maths is really important. Oh, thanks, Steve. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. As is theatre. It's one of the oldest art forms in history, Aristotle. I just think that when we travel around all these problem schools and the 
poor kids see us, they say, hey, I really want to be like those attractive kids. And that's a very beautiful and powerful thing. We touch our audiences and they touch us right back. Uh, uh, with a surname like Algebra, there was really only one choice of career for me. <laughs> <laughs> My wife, Angela, and I, we often laugh about it. <laughs> Angela Algebra. Yes. <laughs> We just want to bring a bit of song and joy into people's lives. And teach people about the difficult issues. The issues in the play are what really matter. And I think you're going to be showing us an extract from this play, aren't you? Yeah. That's right. To put into context, I play a young first year who's having some troubles at school. Her character doesn't actually have a name, yeah? Because in a way, she's like all, all of us. us. It's like okay. a metaphor. Okay. Maybe she's you at home, or like, maybe she's you, Megan. Maths is really important. Yeah, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Put it in, coach. Yes, thanks, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I'm going to have a little chat with your teacher while you run off and get ready. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> That's it, that way. <clears throat> so, Jeff, when did you first hear about the grants? Uh, two days ago. A letter from advance arrived at the school. Now, the headmaster thought it was all a prank, but his secretary retrieved it from his bin and brought it to me. Wow, how did you react? I also <laughs> threw it in the bin. <laughs> but then, Harriet and Fred rescued it, and uh, they, they, they rang the number at the bottom of the page, and next thing you know, we're on tour. Wow. Well, I think we can all guess which way you'll be voting from now on. Do you know what? It's funny, because Angela and I don't usually vote. We, we're not very political. I'm a mathematician, of course, and she's a paraplegic, mainly. But we did used to watch that Peter Clements DIY show back in the day, and so we thought, uh, why not? Let's have a go with this old democracy thing. <laughs> Okay. And here we bally well are. <laughs> Good stuff. Fucking brilliant. <laughs> so let's have a look at a short section of Hey, Friendship. Okay, and this is the music part. Dear Diary, I'm not sure I can take another day at this school. Another day of tears. 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 Another day of fears. Okay. But still I walk the corridors alone. Alone. <laughs> Dreading what might be around every corner. <laughs> What's around the corner? What's around the corner? What's around the corner? Oh, hi Gary. Oh heavens no, it's Gary the Fist. Gary, Gary the Fist. Going somewhere little first year? Great, I've been looking for some poor victim to bully all morning. But will this make me feel better about my violent father? Violent father. Okay. Excuse me, I'm late for maths. It's my favourite subject. And so important. Maths is for losers. What? Maths is for losers. Uh, my arm's stuck, coach. Keep going for fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, maths is for losers. Now, give me your lunch money. Double lunch for me today, but... Why am I only truly happy when I'm eating? Not today, Gary the Fist. What do you mean, not today? Who are you? Oh, my arm's free coat. Brilliant, keep going. <laughs> right, uh, uh, who are you to stand up to me? I'm Gary the Fist, and you're just a sad little girl with two gay dads who's all alone. That's where you're wrong, Gary the Fist. These are my two new friends. Vanessa is captain of the netball team. Yeah. And Blake owns a motorbike. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I can't fight all three of you. And I don't have any friends of my own. Okay, and now we're going to have a Take a look at me. Take a little look at my face I could be you She could be you And you could be me Or you could be me I can be cheeky Ah shit Oh, come on.
Ah, eigentlich ist mir der Counter da unten egal. Wie oft haben wir das wohl geübt, damit das dann klappt hat? Ja, das hätte ich wohl auch sagen, nicht? I believe I've got a 14-inch cock, but it doesn't make it so. I have a similar belief about an adequate paycheck. Friendship! Oh, oh, someone please get these twats out of my studio. Okay, das war jetzt ja mal richtig geil. <lacht> also wenn die nächsten Nächte so weitergehen, äh, ich glaube, dann, dann weine ich hier noch. <lacht> okay, von der Bewertung her. Alles A+. Plus. Sehr geil. Du erhältst ein großzügiger Bonus. Akt das Vermögen nicht mehr bettlarm. Was beunruhigende Schulden. Anleihen. Ja, keine Ahnung, was ich damit und mit dem hier machen soll. Okay. Oh, die Welt geht nach unten. Und nicht so gut. Aber der Kanal liebt uns. Okay, gehen wir mal in die Tageskopien rein. Ähm, das war jetzt Tag 8. Die Auswirkungen wieder so Interview mit Alan James. Was war das nochmal? No, for my sister's kid, Mr. Fuckle Tugs or something. Snuggle Hugs? That's the bastard. Yeah, I wouldn't get one of those. My friend Janet says theirs gets really hot. Is this Janet who thinks dogs have their own secret language? Yeah, the one that mistrusts the moon. Ten seconds, everybody. Not the best. Aha, da gibt da auch noch den Hinweis, dass man da das nicht zeigen sollten. Okay, ähm, Interview mit Alan James. Machen wir das da. Da wird mich jetzt vor allem der Schluss interessieren, was dann nach dem Abspann noch passiert ist. Oh, that! A mega move for the group of young actors. Ja, ja. Äh, mal 16. Ja, äh, warte mal, das war nicht das. Äh, recht in Ordnung. Alan James. Ja, komm. I'm just saying I'll do what I can. Beziehungsweise. Ach, bei ihm war auch der Ton die ganze Zeit an. Ob er irgendwas sagt? Nee. Okay. Ähm, weiter, 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 weiter. So, sind sie am Reden. Da ist 
Okay, da lächelt er doch. Okay. Okay. Ja, dann können wir uns bei ihm noch das Ende mal anhören. Aber er war ja tot. <lacht> Dass sie sowas machen können. No one else. Look, everyone has this. Aber ich glaube, bei ihm war ja gar nicht mal so viel, oder? And finally tonight. Good boy. Interrupt you. It's time to get to the heart of the matter. She says the hall is absolutely fine for Sunday. Oh, marvelous. Now I put your mother in for a hearing test. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Now, how's your IBS been? Ah, schade. Nimm mal so viel. Okay, ja, das glaube ich war mal das Interessanteste. Vielleicht können wir uns jetzt doch mal, schauen wir uns doch mal die Werbung an. Werbung in Tag 8. Schauen wir uns mal Mr. Kuschelflausch an, was ja so gefährlich sein soll. Kids, you love them, we love them. And they just love Mr. With his state-of-the-art human-like voice to keep them company when you can't. If you keep me happy, I'll keep you safe. And his incredible real action eyes. I hope your mommy and daddy don't die. Okay, this thing is gefährlich. It's no wonder Mr. Snuggle Hugs is the gift your child wants this Christmas. All the other kids have got one. That's right, little one. You don't want to be left out. I only like people who have me as their friend. Oh, Mr. Snuggle Hugs, you're so silly. Okay, das ist echt doof. Äh, Alan James, das war ja der verrückte, der verrückte Neil, Weihnachten, Advance, Tatmenschen. Just a Kochon, was war? Machen wir das hier ganz kurz. Why bother strengthening your body? When you can strengthen your face. We believe your skin deserves the best. So the new formula actively removes harsh chemicals from your skin. The high salt content actually pulls the dihydrogen monoxide right from your pores to give you the crisp, brittle skin you've come to expect. The new Jus de Cochon will revitalize the appearance of the strength of your face's skin. 41% okay. of women we surveyed said they loved their visible plates. And seven out of ten dentists would recommend it. Judica Sean. Because we said so. <lacht> okay, dämlich. Ähm, Advanced, Tatmenschen, der Früchte, nee, Weihnachten, was ist das? This is Crazy Neil's festive Yuletide Ornament Spectacular! So you've got the best Christmas tree that your money can buy and you want to put on it some crazy ass Christmas ornaments. We want to give you a spectacular Christmas cactus. You know what it's like, you've run out of things to dress up and you want your house to look like a Christmas bomb has hit it, then we've got the ornaments for you. You want something like vases or phases or another cactus to go with your first cactus or this, a crazy Christmas bomb oh. or toad, woodpeckers. Okay, this is a whole asset sammlung that's going up. Ähm, Alan James Kurt. Ach ja, schauen wir mal. Alan James Kurt. Alan James. I'm Alan James. Alan James. Alan James is right. Alan James is right. I'm Alan James. Alan James is right in front of you. I don't want to scare you, but you should be scared. There must be something in the fire! Das Traurige dran ist, es gibt ja halt Leute, die sind halt wirklich so drauf und sind dann noch erfolgreich damit. Okay. Ja, das hätten wir vielleicht nicht ausstrahlen sollen. <lacht> ja, da bleibt eigentlich nur noch das Advanced mit Tatmenschen. Ich meine, alle Sachen sind hier abgedreht. Da gibt es doch nichts Normales hier. Our children are our future. Advanced knows this. 
and we're here to help. The new Advanced Go-Getters initiative will ensure that every young person enjoys the abundance of benefits that only a true community can provide, while keeping us informed of all the ups and downs to help make things even better. With a vast range of activities available, building the nation's future has never been so rewarding. With the Go-Getters, you can be sure that your children will be well equipped in the march towards progress. After all, there's nothing better than moving forwards. The Advanced Go-Getters. Forwards. Together. Was can I say start, Menschen? Okay. Ah, ansonsten, ja, gab das war's. Okay. Ich würde sagen, an der Stelle machen wir Schluss und wir machen in der nächsten Episode mit dem nächsten Tag weiter. Und ich bin schon gespannt, was uns da erwarten wird. Oh je. Also, bis bald. Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gibt auch immer wieder gratis Spiele und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Braubucher. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.